Hey everyone, in my two decades in database management, I have seen one myth cause more headache than any other. Shrinking database is a quick fix for disk space alerts. Sounds familiar? Join me, Mark and Sam, as we dive into real world scenario where this quick fix turned into a long term headache. Along the way, we'll drop some questions for you to ponder with answers revealed at the end. Stick around to discover how avoiding this common trap can save your nights from endless on-call alerts and keep your work-life balance in check. Let's debunk this myth together, shall we? Joining me today are two integral members of my channel, Mark and Sam, each bringing unique perspective to the table on a production environment which follows best practices for optimal performance. Hi, I'm Mark. I am the senior DBA in the team. I'm here to shed light on why shrinking databases isn't always the solution it's made out to be. And I'm Sam, the DBA often facing the immediate challenges of database management. I've grappled with disk space alerts and have often thought of shrinking as a quick fix. But last week was a nightmare for on-call DBA. Hey Mark, I've been dealing with continuous space alerts in one of our environments for the past week, all related to space issues. Our server, which hosts inventory DB and customer DB, reached a 95% space alert. The size of customer DB increased significantly due to reindexing, and inventory DB had a nearly empty 400 gigabyte log file. I decided to shrink it quickly to address the issue. All right, you opted for a swift fix to the immediate problem, but let's dive deeper into the subsequent alerts you faced. Considering Sam's decision to shrink the nearly empty log file in response to space alerts, what alternative strategies could have been employed? Think about how these alternatives could positively impact the overall handling of the issue. Meanwhile, let's take a look at next scenario. Well, next day, another alert popped up in the same environment. This time, inventory DB's log file rapidly expanded due to an archive job. Remembering the 200 gigabyte freed up in customer DB from yesterday's reindexing, since reindexing completed and now that space was available, I shrank data file to accommodate the archive job. I see your reasoning, Sam. However, it seems like you are addressing the symptoms, not the root cause, especially regarding inventory DB's expansion. Did you analyze its growth pattern before acting? You're right, at that moment, it seemed like the best course of action. It helped us avoid immediate downtime and we didn't have to request additional space. But yes, there wasn't much time to consider a long-term strategy. All right, Sam, tell me what happens next. Sam's decision to shrink customer DB reflects a common knee-jerk reaction to urgent space issues. What would you do if you were in Sam's shoes? Hopefully not just shrink the database and hope for the best. I mean, we have all been there, haven't we? Just 10 hours after the last space alert, we faced a new issue. Our client reported a showstopper, slow performance in customer DB. Despite recent re-indexing, the indexes were fragmented again, which was unusual. I checked with the application team and they confirmed no significant changes or unusual activities. Remember, we had just performed index maintenance two days earlier. It was puzzling why the indexes were fragmented again, causing slow queries. Interesting, Sam. It's a good idea that you checked with the application team to make sure that they have not made any recent changes and also check that there was no change control scheduled, which could have resulted in this issue. So what did you do next? I started the reindex job again. And lo and behold, within just 30 minutes, another 95% space alert came through. And before I could jump on the server, it turned out the customer DB data file was full. SQL Server canceled the index job due to insufficient space in the customer DB data file and through. Could the shrinking of customer DB data files during the last shrink be contributing to this fragmentation issue? Now that you mention it, it could be. I hadn't thought that shrinking the data file might affect the indexes. Meanwhile, noticing a lot of free space in the inventory DB log, I shrunk it by half, reclaiming 200 gigabytes. Thankfully, the reindexing then completed. Well, if only shrinking databases could magically shrink our problems away, right? 
Why do you think the customer DB indexes were fragmented so soon after indexing? Could Sam's previous action have contributed? What steps would you have taken to investigate and resolve such unexpected performance degradation? A day later, we hit another 95% alert in the same environment. The inventory DB log was rapidly growing due to a large transaction. Facing multiple alerts, I considered adding more space. But when I contacted the server team, they recommended recovering space first, suggesting that adding more should be a last resort. How did you respond to that? Well, I've had trouble getting approval for additional space in the past. So I checked the temp DB, whose data files were 500 gigabytes in size with 95% free space. I decided to shrink the data file to 200 gigabytes thus recovering 300 gigabytes in total. After that, the re-indexing was completed and the performance improved. You managed to free up a lot of space, but let's think about, about whether shrinking tempdb was the most sustainable solution. It seemed like the easiest way to handle the issue without causing an outage or requesting more space. Since the server team advised freeing up space, I followed through. I understand the immediate need. It's important to look into options for permanent fix. That's true. I focused on a quick fix due to the client's complaints rather than overall capacity planning. Uh-huh. Anything else happened? In the face of a large transaction causing rapid log growth, Sam chose to recover space rather than add more. Was this the best decision under the circumstances? How would you balance the need for immediate resolution with the long-term stability of the database. The next day, we faced another 95% alert in the same environment. A quarter-end process in customer DB caused the temp DB to swell, triggering the alert. To quickly resolve the issue and keep everything running, I chose to shrink the inventory DB log file. Did you consider adding space instead of shrinking? I considered adding space but the general advice I keep hearing is to recover space first before adding more. Shrinking the log files seemed like the most straightforward solution. Also, this is a quarterly activity, not a regular one. I see your point. Shrinking log files is a temporary fix that doesn't address the underlying issue, the growth of tempdb. Wouldn't a more sustainable solution be to analyze why tempdb is growing and address that? You're right. But in the heat of the moment, avoiding an outage felt like the top priority. Understandable. But as DBAs, we need to balance immediate fixes with the long-term health of our databases. Communicating the need for additional space, though challenging, is often necessary. It's about finding the right balance between quick solutions and sustainable management. Your face is telling me this is not the end of it? Reflect on Sam's decision to shrink the inventory DB log file due to TAMDB growth from a quarterly activity. Was this addressing the root cause? What do you think could be the underlying reason for the TAMDB growth? Had another on-call alert due to a large archive after a planned activity for customer DB. Well, the archive caused a space alert. Normally, I would consider shrinking, but this time I realized that shouldn't be my go-to solution. That's a good point. Shrinking should be a part of a planned activity, not a response to an alert. If it's needed after a planned activity, doesn't it indicate a lapse in our change control processes and deployment team not tested the process properly? Exactly. This time I questioned whether our change control process was robust enough. In a well-managed system, there shouldn't be a need for frequent shrinking, especially not as a quick fix for space issues. Whether our change control, I agree. Going forward, I'll focus more on proactive space management and ensure our change control processes are comprehensive enough to prevent such scenarios. Right. In a healthy database environment, we should anticipate and plan for space requirements. Frequent shrinking can be a sign that we're not proactively managing our databases. It's about understanding the long-term implications of our actions. Does it make sense to add a space in this case, given that this is a planned activity for large archives? Sam is not the only one struggling to justify the need for additional space. This is a very common problem. How do you deal with it? If you have thoughts, share it in the comment section. 
Before we cover the questions from each scenario, let's remember our main goal. We want to reduce on-call alerts as much as possible for production DBAs. We are assuming this environment is already well optimized. That means we have allocated resources properly, set up all right alerts, and we are following best practices to keep performance at its best. Now with this in mind, let's explore the possible causes. In this situation, Sam got alerts about the space because of re-indexing large tables. A better first step would be to find out why the data file got so big instead of shrinking it right away. The 400 GB log file might seem too large, but that's normal in some cases. Just because it's empty at times doesn't mean it's not being used. It usually empties after a log backup. The large size could be due to a big transaction that needed a lot of space. So even if the file is empty now, shrinking it isn't a good idea. It's likely just grow back because the application using the database need that space and need to run that transaction. Shrinking it means we are just setting ourselves up for more alerts later. That's what happened in the next scenario. In this case, Sam shrank the customer DB data file to free up space for inventory DB's archive job. This was a quick fix, but it didn't really solve why inventory DB was growing so much. You might wonder, wouldn't it have been better to study inventory DB growth to understand why it was expanding so quickly and find a better way to handle its growth? Instead of just shrinking customer DB, we should have looked more into inventory DB expansion. Shrinking is just a quick reaction and doesn't really get to the heart of the problem. Having said that, the main issue wasn't just that inventory DB log file was growing. That's normal and expected. The real problem started in the first scenario when Sam shrunk inventory DB log file. If he hadn't done that, he might not have had this alert at all. In this case, Sam's action was to re-index customer DB, leading to space issues which resulted in shrinking inventory DB log. If you thought the right approach would involve investigating whether Sam's previous shrinking action on customer DB data file contributed to index fragmentation, then you would be right. Rather than asking for space, Sam chose to shrink the data file, which resulted in defragmentation of indexes due to external fragmentation. In this case, if you shrink data file, which technically results in extents, got moved to shrink the data files, and which introduce the external fragmentation at the disk level. To drive the point home, just because data file has free space does not mean one can shrink it. There is a reason a data file has free space, and in the majority of the cases, it's the indexing job which does that because indexing make a copy of the data table, and then basically once that copy is sorted, then it replaced with the original table. And thus you'll see data file have free space. So remember that the space is there for a reason. In this scenario, Sam faced a large transaction that caused rapid growth in the log file. Instead of adding more space, he chose to shrink TAMDB data file. Sam knew a big transaction was making a log file grow. And from before, we know that he shrunk the log file. So if the log file is now growing back to its original size, that explains this alert. This is why it's better to ask for more space and explain why it's needed instead of just shrinking databases. It's common for IT or server teams to ask why you need free space. You should be able to explain the why part. Just because there is a free space in another data or log file doesn't mean it should be shrunk. That space is there for a reason. Only consider shrinking if you're very sure that application won't need that space for a long time. Otherwise, it's a big no. And remember, if you shrink data file, you will likely to need to re-index to fix any external fragmentation introduced by that activity. When in doubt, just don't shrink. When talking to server or storage team, explain that the growth is due to application. Any space that's now free will likely be needed again by the application. Shrinking 
other databases or logs could cause more space issues. As a production DBA, whenever you get a space alert, your fix should ensure that the same alert doesn't pop up on that drive for at least six months, or better yet, a year or two. If you're not sure about the space planning, I can make a video for that. Just let me know in the comments. In this scenario, Sam shrunk the inventory DB log file to deal with TemDB growth from a quarter and transaction. You might wonder if the better approach was to look into why TemDB was growing. Shrinking log file is a quick fix, but doesn't solve the main problem. Or perhaps you thought the focus should be on understanding why TemDB is growing. Frankly, both these thoughts miss the main point. The real issue started when TemDB was shrunk in the previous scenario. That's what led to this space alert. TemDB data and log files are usually empty unless there is a big activity using up the space. So if a TemDB hadn't been shrunk before, this alert might not have happened. Now about the quarter and transaction being an ad hoc event, does that justify shrinking? I mean, even if a space is only needed quarterly, there should be a planned space allocated for that activity. It shouldn't be reclaimed or shrunk just to fix another space issue. Sure, you can make temporary decisions like shrinking, but a permanent solution is needed. Always plan ahead and be ready to undo temporary changes proactively. In this case, a space alert came during a planned maintenance activity. And Sam changed how he thought about shrinking databases. He realized it should be a planned, controlled activity, not just a quick reaction to alerts. The key lesson here is the importance of being proactively with databases. This means planning for space needs ahead of time and having strong processes for making changes. Knowing this helps avoid the need for frequently shrinking databases as a quick fix. Better change control processes can help predict and prevent problems during planned database activities. This reduces the need for react quickly like shrinking databases or production alerts. The main issue in this alert was that space planning wasn't done well during the planning for a one-time archival process. When application or deployment teams plan a maintenance window for a, such an unusual archival activity, they need to ensure enough space is arranged for it. And this kind of activity should be done during a client-approved maintenance window and have the approval of the change management team. It shouldn't lead to an on-call DB alerts. The point I wanted to drive home is shrinking a database to solve a space issue is like cleaning your room by shoving everything under the bed. Sure, it looks clean, but the mess is still there, waiting to come back out. In the first scenario, there was a space alert because indexing needed more space. If extra space had been added then, it would have prevented the next four scenarios and the necessary alerts and sleepless nights for the on-call. It would have helped maintain a better work-life balance. Managing database is a journey full of challenges and chances to learn. From what we saw with Sam, it's clear that quick fixes aren't always the best. It's important to really understand the effects of what we do as a DBA and keep improving our strategies for optimal performance. In next session, I will cover the scenario where shrinking makes sense and why it should be handled as part of either maintenance job or under planned activity and not as an on-call DBA alerts. This is not a production support issue. Thanks for being with us as we explore real database management situations. We hope these stories help you in your DBA journey. Have you been in a similar situation? How did you deal with it? Share your experiences in the comments. Keep an eye out for more talks and tips in our future videos. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you are interested in 